Can you believe you've been in the league six years? It's crazy. It goes by fast. It goes by fast. It feels like a long time, but it still it still goes by fast. Like you you learn so much, you grow so much. You come to the league and you're like, you're this like young, immature kid, and then you just learn and you grow and become a man. It's it's crazy how fast it goes. Oh, what a nice play by Solomon Thomas. You are the 2022 Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee for your Jets. I mean, that is the highest honor. Yeah, no, it's such an honor. And I'm, you know, so honored to be the Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee, um, you know, to have that, have my peers and my teammates, you know, vote, vote me as that and, and be recognized as my peers. Like, you, I never do the work I do for an award or for, for recognition, but, um, you know, it's, it's truly, it feels good to be, to have my work be noticed and have to know that, I'm out there making a difference and, and, and you know, putting good work out in, in the world. So just trying to do that in every way I can. You're the co-founder of the Defensive Lines alongside your parents. Uh, and it was created out of something that, that you dealt with personally. And that was the passing of your sister, Ella. And I imagine that impact on your life is still felt today, every day you wake up. Definitely. You know, I, I miss my sister every day. You know, uh, I miss her so much. Uh, you know, she meant the world to me. Um, you know, and, and, and it's a pain that I'll forever feel, but I'm trying to turn that pain into something where I can help others. You know, my sister had a dream, she had a goal um, to help others who were struggling with mental health, to help young girls who were um, who were sexually abused. She, she had these missions and we're trying to carry them on, on for her. Um, you know, we know how much she wanted to, to love love others. And through this work, uh, I believe it's so important um, to, to make one person uh, not feel the way that Ella's feeling and make one one family not feel the way that my family is going through, through losing Ella, but it's all worth it if I can save one life, if I can save one family from going through what we went through. Um, you know, and, and that's that's what this work is about. Yeah, you've described yourself as a quote unquote passionate fighter for those who are struggling. So I can't imagine uh, how important this recognition of your work in the mental health community means to you. No, yeah, it, it means a lot because it's, it's a world where a lot of people feel alone. So I just want to fight for those people because I've been in that position. I've been in, this, in, in a spot where I feel alone, where I felt like I have no one to go to, that I have to be a man, I have to be tough. I'm in the wrong way. And I, I had to learn how to get help. I had to learn how to talk, go to therapy and talk about these things. I, I believe suicide is the most preventable, preventable death. And so I'm trying to do all I can to educate those on mental health, on how to get help, on where to go for resources, and just to talk, start the conversation. Through my own mental health journey, um, you know, I've, I've, I've learned a lot. You know, I've learned that it's okay not to be okay. Um, you know, I learned it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be depressed. Like, like these are feelings of, of the human experience. And, you know, I, I've learned how important it is, you know, to ask someone how you're doing. You're hearing from families and kids that you are inspiring. Have they inspired you? I've been, I've been so inspired and, I, and I'm learning every day. You know, I'm learning so much about this work. Um, you know, just inspired by all these people who, who have had so many similar stories and who are still fighting every day. And now I understand from going through my own personal journey and learning from my sister's story, that I understand how much strength that takes to be here every day. Like that motivates me in, in, in every way. Um, I went, was going through my sister's Instagram yesterday and um, I was looking for a new wallpaper and uh, she had this this uh, picture that says, you never know what somebody's going through, so always be kind. And it, it, it's so true because you never know what battle someone's facing. You know, in, the, in this world, we are, we're always presented with the good. Don't be a burden. You know, don't bring someone's mood down. And we don't really know how people are doing it. The sports side of, of mental toughness and mental health, yeah. like, um, you know, all, all the work that Kobe did about being present, you know, um, channeling your emotions, the true meaning of mental toughness, which is not just to tough through everything, but to compartmentalize your feelings. It's about accepting them and working through them and, and being one with yourself. We can help you too with the WPMOY challenge, as it's called the Walter Payton Man of the Year Challenge. You can use that yeah. hashtag and put Solomon's name. Please help us win. Please tweet for us. You know, it'll be, it'll, it's going to, you know, amazing work, uh, suicide um, prevention, education and, and awareness. We're running these programs and we're going to schools and, and teaching them, you know, teaching mentors how to look out for warning signs, how to conduct a, a safe mental health environment. Well, I know the Jets are super proud, Jets fans super proud, NFL fans like myself super proud, your mom, uh, and of course, Ella, all proud of you. So Solomon, congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much, Kay. I appreciate you. You're a badass, Solomon. God. <laughs> so really are you. Are. <laughs>